You wish you could be in the clouds? Okay, you wish you could be in the clouds. Then you'll be in big trouble. You'll be ended up falling down from the sky. Even if the clouds could hold you up in the air, it's full of extremely dangerous things. Yes, we have thought about being in the clouds or lying on them when we were little children. I'm Captain JK. Today, I'm going to talk about how dangerous it is to fly into the clouds. How are clouds made? As you may understand, clouds are water droplets, frozen crystals, or other particles suspended in the air. Clouds are made when the air gets saturated, when it is cooled down to its dew point, or it gets sufficient moisture. Okay, I'm gonna spare you the lecture because I'm not giving you science class here. There are various kinds of clouds according to its height or shape or the level of convection. And their names are diverse like altostratus, cirrocumulus, cumulonimbus, and so on. Are they all dangerous? Well, not likely. Many clouds are harmless, but just a little bumpy when passing through them. They are mostly stratus clouds. The cloud like this, it's called roll clouds. We sometimes see these clouds around the mountains. This sky has very turbulent air in it. This is one of the clouds that the pilots should not fly near. Then what are the extremely dangerous clouds? Like I mentioned earlier, there are many kinds of convective clouds. Seeing the name of it, air goes up and down, side by side, very quickly in there. And they contain a lot of water droplets, which are called supercooled water. Water in normal condition freezes at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But the temperature of the supercooled water droplets can go down to below freezing level and it's in very unstable state. When they hit the object like the surfaces of the airplanes, they instantaneously stick to the surface and turn into the ice. This is called icing. This icing can block the speed sensors of the airplane, which is called pitot tubes, and this icing may lead the airplane to the dangerous situation or sometimes catastrophe. Why are they dangerous to the airplanes? There are lots of reasons the pilots have to go around the clouds while flying. Using what is called weather radar, we deviate the hazardous clouds like this. Okay, first, there is going to be extreme turbulence. If it's really hard, the autopilot will be tripped off and by manual flying, it is very hard even to maintain its attitude. When exposed to it, the cabin might be ended up like this. Secondly, lightning strikes. Modern aircraft has lots of static dischargers here and there but still, lightning is one of the deadly weather phenomena to the airplanes. Thirdly, ice crystals. Like I told you, cumulus clouds are full of ice crystals. Sometimes they can grow as large as it can cause serious damage to the airplanes. Lastly, the icing. As I mentioned earlier, this may block the speed sensors of the airplanes. Sometimes pilots are trained to fly the airplane properly in this situation. I've also done it quite a bit, but it's one of the most difficult situations that the pilots may encounter while flying. I think I have to talk about Air France 447. One day in 2009, Air France 447 Airbus A330 took off from Brazil and they were flying over Equator. Areas around the equator are infamous for lots of thunderstorm activities and most of the thunderstorm clouds can grow so high that the normal airliners cannot fly over them. 
Not long after the captain went back to the cabin bunk for his rest, Air France 447 somehow got into the thunderstorm clouds. Hail, I mean ice crystals, the big ones, started to hit the body of this A330. And the autopilot also tripped off soon after. Yes, severe icing caused the speed sensor's pitot tube to be blocked by ice. Actually, all they had to do at the moment was to fly level and wait for the ice on the pitot tube to melt away. Pitots are very hot to prevent ice buildup on them. Pilots at the time did something very strange and critical. Right seat pilots started to pull back the side stick of the Airbus A330. There must have been false speed indication caused by frozen speed sensors. In some situations, pilots may pull the side stick to reduce its speed when actual speed is too high. But this was absolutely not the case to do so. The aircraft is now climbing rapidly and losing speed. Coming up, they started to stall. And flight 447 is in free fall. The aircraft starts to drop, it starts to fall. So Air France 447 was ended up in the Atlantic Ocean like that and all the people on board were killed. Other than all the things that I've mentioned, it brings sometimes very strong downdraft underneath the cloud, which is called microburst. Of course, the tornado could happen with these cumulus clouds in North America. Okay, we went over today regarding various kinds of clouds, including dangerous ones like cumulonimbus clouds. So um, I hope you could understand why pilots have to deviate the clouds while operation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.